Hello, it's Mundo Monday and it's almost spring. Did you know that according to some cultures, spring started last week? The ancient Celts of Ireland called it Imbolc. The Christian Romans changed it to Candlemas and it's celebrated today in your nearby Punxsutawney as Groundhog Day. But Punxsutawney Phil saw his shadow this year. Doesn't that mean that's six more weeks of winter? Sure, but spring is still coming and the days are getting brighter. You remember we've been talking about winter light holidays. Later this week we'll have one last light holiday to send off winter and call in the spring. The East Asian Lunar New Year. This Friday, right here on this channel, Miss Barb and Miss Anne will be taking you on a virtual trip to China to celebrate the start of the Year of the Ox. Uh, there will be stories and games and fun facts and crafts. If you stop by the library before then and give us a call from the curbside pickup lot, um, you can pick up supplies for the crafts and you'll get a free hardcover Chinese New Year book, Goldie Luck and the Three Pandas. But, Mundo, this on Friday is a Chinese New Year celebration. You said East Asian Lunar New Year. Is that different? Not really. It's just broader. China is the largest country in East Asia, if you don't count Russia, which stretches across the whole north of Asia and into Europe. And it's also the most populous. And there are people who are culturally Chinese in separate legal nations like Taiwan and Hong Kong. So most likely anyone celebrating the Lunar New Year at this time is Chinese. But the people of surrounding nations like Korea, Vietnam, Cambodia, Thailand, Myanmar, Malaysia, Indonesia, Tibet, which is in China but has its own culture, are also having similar New Year celebrations at this time but they're still unique to their own cultures. Even within a culture, different families have their own unique ways of celebrating a holiday. There's never a one-size-fits-all to holidays because everyone is different, even if they share some things with others. Within a culture, people can have different needs, different likes or dislikes, different amounts of money to spend on things, or amounts of talent to make their own things. And families are all shapes and sizes. Some grown-ups have jobs that make them work on holidays, so the family may celebrate the holiday on a different day than everyone else. Or like in today's story, maybe the holiday is the only time you ever see that grown-up. Oh, that could be. There are many reasons why a parent or guardian might not live with you all the time. Most often it's because your parents are divorced and you might live with one parent most of the time but visit the other, day, uh, the other one for holidays or weekends. Or maybe they're in the military and they have to go serve in another country for a long time. Or maybe they're sick and have to spend a long time in the hospital. Or maybe they're in jail. Or Maybe they've gotten a job in a faraway place for not long enough that everyone can move after them, but still a long time. That's the case with Mau Mau's father in the book we're about to read. A New Year's Reunion by Liu Jiqiong, illustrated by Zhu Sheng Lang. Yeah. Did you know this author and illustrator actually live in China and their names are written in Chinese order. Their first names, Yu and Zhu, are their family names. What your last name is in the United States. If you were to say hello to the author, 
you would say Ni Hao Li Hyung because that's her name that you would call her by. If you look at the spine label where we usually put the author's last name, we put her family name, Yu, even though it comes first in her name on the cover. Uh, you won't have to know that for this story. All you have to know is what you'll soon see in the story, that Mao Mao loves her papa very much. A New Year's Reunion. Papa builds big houses in faraway places. He comes home only once a year during Chinese New Year. Today, Mama and I wake up really early because, what do you think? Papa is coming home. There he is, he's got big bags of luggage coming. I watch him from a distance, not daring to get close. You see, she's feeling a little shy because it's been so long since she's seen him. Papa comes over and sweeps me up in his arms, prickling my face with his beard. Do you see his scratchy beard? Mama! I cry in alarm. Look what I got for you. Papa rummages in his big suitcase and takes out, oh, what a pretty hat. Mama has a new padded coat too. Uh, let's go and get me a haircut. Then everything will go smoothly in the coming year, Papa says to me after lunch. I sit on a chair, waiting. The Papa in the mirror is getting more like Papa the way he used to be. This, this page doesn't have any words on it, but you see there's lanterns hanging up and poems hanging on the door with lots of red paper. Red is the color of joy. Later it's time to make sticky rice balls. Papa buries a coin in one of the balls and says, whoever finds the ball with the coin will have good luck. Pop, 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 bang, bang, bang. We hear firecrackers outside all night. I lie between Papa and Mama and fall asleep, drowsily hearing them whispering, whispering. Early the next morning, Mama serves up piping hot sticky rice balls, and Papa feeds them to me with a spoon. Suddenly, I bite on something hard. The fortune coin! It's the fortune coin! I shout. Good for you, Mau Mau. Quick, put it away in your pocket so the good luck won't escape. Papa is more excited than I am. Mama helps me into a brand new jacket. We're going New Year visiting. On the way, I meet my friend Dachun. Mau Mau, where are you going? I'm out for New Year's visits with my Papa. Me too. Look, I got a big red envelope. Well, how about this? I take the coin out of my pocket. I have a fortune coin. My papa buried it in the sticky rice bowl and I found it. On the second day of New Year's, the sky is gloomy and it looks as if it's going to snow. Papa gets busy fixing the windows, painting the door, changing the light bulbs, and the whole house brightens up. Come on, let's fix the roof, Papa says with a wink. Excellent! Mama never allows me up on the roof alone. Hey, I see Dachin's roof. Listen, what's the sound over there? I say. That's well, the dragon dance on Main Street. Papa straightens up and looks into the distance. Where is it? Where is it? I stand on tiptoe, stretching up as far as I can. Papa puts me on his shoulders. Now can you see it? Yes. Yes, I can! They're coming this way! Here comes the dragon dance. See, they're all carrying the dragon in a parade and everyone's else following behind. There. Look at all the people along the sides look like somebody left off balloons. On the third day of New Year's, it snows really hard. When it finally stops, Dachun and the other children come and get me to play. We build a huge snowman in the courtyard and have a snowball fight. 
I don't go home until it's getting dark. I feel inside my pocket and I, I can't find the coin. My fortune coin is gone. I rush out into the courtyard, but it's all covered in snow. Where's my fortune coin? Don't cry, sweetie. I'll give you another one. Look, it's exactly the same. Papa scoops another coin out of his pocket. I don't want that one. I want the other one. I bawl. In the evening, I creep into bed miserable, but as I take off my jacket, clink, something falls to the floor. It's the coin, my fortune coin. Papa, come quick, come and see. I haven't lost the fortune coin. It's been with me all the time. That night, I sleep very soundly. When I get up the next morning, I see Mama helping Papa pack. He's leaving today. Soon Papa's packing is done. He crouches down and gives me a big hug, whispering in my ear, next time I'm back, I'll bring you a doll, okay? No, Papa, I shake my head hard. I want to give you something. I put the coin, all warm from being held in my hand for so long, in Papa's palm and say, here, take this. Next time you're back, we can bury it in the sticky rice ball again. Daddy's very quiet. He nods, hugs me tight. Why do you think he's so quiet? Look at his face. Do you think he's sad to be leaving home again? They're waving goodbye. They're gonna miss Papa, and he's gonna miss them. At least they know at least one time of year they will definitely be together again. And I'm glad to be with you and I welcome you to join us on Friday for our big Chinese New Year's party right here on this channel. And I'll see you next week. Happy New Year and happy almost spring!